What's up everybody, Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique and FabFilter have just come out with the Pro L2. Oh my goodness, FabFilter are known the world over for making high quality plugins and the Pro L2 is no exception to that. It's got a bunch of new features. This isn't a mini new release. This is a full on big new plugin that is perfect for your limiting situation. Really anything you can throw at this thing, it's gonna do a great job. Lots of new styles, lots of new other options to help you make sure you're getting the best limiting possible for your masters. In this video, we're gonna review the top five newest features in my opinion. The next video, we're gonna go into each and every new feature. And then in the third video of this series, we're gonna go ahead and master a track or get it right to the level we want using this limiter. So let's go ahead and jump into my review of the top five new features in Pro L2 by FabFilter. The Pro L2 is packed with new features and in the following video we're going to take a close look at everything. But for this video I wanted to review my top five favorite new features. First, the limiting style algorithms have been doubled from four to eight. This includes the new default style titled Modern which is the best for all situations. There is also Aggressive which is great for transient heavy bass music like EDM. Bus, which is useful for stem mastering in conjunction with the new side chaining feature. And finally, Safe, whose goal isn't loudness, but being distortion free at all times. Moving over to the right side of Pro L2, you will see that we have a new loudness meter. This meter uses the more modern LUFS system, however the K-scale standards for Pro L1 have been carried over. We have four built-in targets including negative 9 LUFS for CD mastering, negative 14 LUFS for streaming mastering, and two more targets for broadcast standards. Switching the time scale at the bottom of the meter from momentary to short term will give you more of a slower average enabling you to hit your targets easier. Next, inner sample peaks or ISP metering has been changed to the more modern true peak metering. On top of that, Pro L2 now has True Peak Limiting, which will catch any ISPs that might be caused by the future digital to analog conversion, making sure your master will never experience clipping while being converted. While we're on the subject of ISPs, oversampling went from a measly 4 times in Pro L1 to the now jaw-dropping 32 times. This is incredibly CPU intensive, but we also have the ability to go 8 times and 16 times as well. Finally, there are now four output options including DC offset filtering, side chaining, and my last two favorite additions to the Pro L series. The Unity Gain button causes relative gain matching at the click of a button. This scales the limited signal's output to match the source material, allowing you to focus on the changes in the audio from the limiting process when bypassing Pro L2. Next to that is the Audition Limiting button. This allows you to solo the actual gain reduction signal being applied to the audio. This is an incredibly useful feature when deciding the limiting style, how much to tweak the advanced parameters, and of course, how much limiting should be applied overall. Make no mistake, Pro L2 is the top of the line when it comes to limiting. In the next video, we're going to cover all of these features in depth and all of the other new features as well. Pro L2 by FabFilter is available today on PluginBoutique.com. Use the links in the description of this video to go and download your trial version today. It's a shame, it's a shame We may be different from each other Different color, different mother But we were all on the same wall Brother killing brother We not care for one another It's a shame, it's a shame We may be different